Hello, Pharma Life family. Hi, family. So here we are, rainy season 2016, and already we've got some ma just unbelievable guests here, transformations left and right. Having a good time. Yeah, having a really, really good time. Enjoying the waterfalls. The rain's coming down like crazy this rainy season. Last rainy season, it was like dry season. Now the waterfalls are oh, it's crazy. So much power. It's 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 so much passion in the water. It's it's awesome. Awesome. Windstorms and lightning storms too. Oh yeah, whipping through. You know, God speaks. Rainy season 2016. All the wind, the rain. It's been incredible. And here we have an incredible guest. Right, Pharma Life family. We've had First guests time. come six or seven different times. Right. Um, we've got a third timer here, Pharma Life family, Lena. Hello. Say hello, Lena. There <laughs> <Hi>. you go. <laughs> now, Lena, let's um, let's back up a bit. Let's talk a little bit about your story. Um, how did you get interested in this alternative life of eating healthier and thinking differently and connecting to one's soul? Uh, I think it took a little while uh, for me to get into this lifestyle. Um, just little by little, I started getting into it, reading a little bit more about it, watching documentaries. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of going through a rough part in my life. Um, and then somebody randomly came to my job and gave me the business card of uh, the Farm of Life. So I wow. called and I pretty much made the reservation the next day. Wow. And Thank you, awesome. somebody. <laughs> yeah, somebody. Her name is Alice. Um, Thank you, Alice. So I ended up coming here and I spent nine days here by myself and I had never done anything like that before in my life, just going somewhere alone. I remember you arrived at night Yeah. and I was like, your cabin's down over here and you're like, no, no, no. You know, and I remember <laughs> thinking, uh oh, uh oh, we're going to have someone that's going to be absolutely terrified. But talk to us about that first Yeah, experience. you know, it just took me a few days to um, adjust to the whole thing. Mm -hmm. just the food and the people and I'm a very introverted person I get really nervous around people so it was definitely hard for me and I only stayed for nine days which I don't think that was really enough for me the first time but I okay. definitely each time I've been here I've taken something uh, positive and good that I was able to incorporate into my life um, yeah, so the first time I just kind of got like a little pinch of what it's like to be in this lifestyle. Just the nutrition, the spiritual aspect of it, everything. I really enjoyed it. I just came back home really refreshed and happy and um, a little bit more sure of myself. Mm -hmm. um, and you're from Miami Beach, yeah. so you got all the fresh fruits there and the sun and you can really connect there pretty good. Exactly. It's a little crazy, yeah. but you can <laughs> kind of follow it. Yeah, I feel like when I go home I do... Uh, things that are considered weird back home. I walk around barefoot <laughs> <laughs> and I eat all of my meals outside, which is really nice. Um, so I decided to come a second time and, and um, my boyfriend came with me, which was really nice, and a third time as well. And we, we love just him. had a, a nice great, guy. great time. Yes, he is. Yeah. <laughs> and um, after coming here, so the first time I came, I ended up going to a uh, yoga teacher training, which completely changed my life. It was amazing. Nice. I got inspired by, you know, just coming here. And um, then the second time I came and... That was a um, big Yeah, we stayed for a little bit longer, so yeah. I was able to incorporate a little bit more things uh, that you guys have here. My diet had already changed a little bit, so it was easier for me. I felt a little bit more... Um, sure around the kitchen and just sure. like making my own meals and stuff more like that. More comfortable. Yeah, more comfortable. Uh, and I definitely felt more comfortable because I had somebody with me. Were <laughs> you a vegetarian then, in Miami? Uh, I would say I don't think I was 100% vegetarian. Got I it. had probably a, um, meat once a month. Yeah, so twice. this place had a bit of an influence on yeah, you. Yeah, definitely. I'm pretty much completely vegan. I do eat honey and here and there, I'll have a little bit of uh, dairy, but nice. that's it. Um, yeah, so this is my third time here, and uh, it's been amazing. I don't want to leave. Today is my last day. <laughs> I love everybody here, and I just love this place. And I'm kind of, we are kind of thinking about maybe moving here for a little while at least mm -hmm. let's um, um let's back up a little bit let's talk about your 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 second and third experiences so your second experience here you you got involved with some plant medicine work yes. um and you had been doing some emotional work and some things that you know changing in your life 
um, you worked with uh, Grandfather Medicine Peyote that second that second time. Um, what did that do for you? The second time, um, or the first time I did peyote, yeah. it was um, a little bit of a softer experience. And the second time, I definitely felt very um, one with nature. I, everything was just very enhanced, and um, I just kind of felt like I was there, but I was also everywhere in a way. Uh -huh. um, it was beautiful. Uh, towards the end, I feel like when we, we were at Peace Falls, uh, once we got back to the farm, I started to feel more of the like the intense part of it. I started getting little insights here and there about my life and just mm -hmm. things came up from my past. And um, I really started to think and I got really emotional. Um, I definitely took a lot of things with me. I learned a lot. But this time was my second time doing peyote. You just recently it was, did it a few um, days ago, right? Yeah, yeah, it was amazing. Um, there was definitely ups and downs, but I don't regret any of it. I enjoyed every second of it. Um, a major, a major emotional clearing, right? Yes, yeah. definitely. I and, went through a lot of emotions. Good for you for wanting to do it. Yeah. You know, you, you you have to mean you have to want that, and then you just wow, you just let it all yeah. go. Yeah, just physically and mentally, I felt it. And Brian gave me an amazing energy session, which I'm really grateful for. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um. And I'm definitely taking you in more with me this time. That's awesome. Yeah, I can't wait to come back. And so you and your lovely boyfriend, he's bald by the way, very sexy, <laughs> very sexy. Um, you guys are considering because you've had such a, you know, it's been so amazing here. You've really mm -hmm. enjoyed it. It kind of resonates. The tropics kind of resonate with you guys. You're eating lots of fruits and vegetables, and of course they abound here. Um, you're, you guys are thinking about relocating, huh? Yes. Talk about that a little uh, bit. We are thinking about moving here, and we love this part of Costa Rica. It's just amazing because there's mountains, and there's also the beach is not too far away. Yeah, and those uh, crazy hippies. Yeah, like Brian. Yes. There's so many cool fruits and vegetables here. It's just, I mean, it's a paradise for a vegan, vegetarian lifestyle and, uh, you know, just a spiritual lifestyle that um, mm -hmm. we're trying to pursue uh, so we're thinking about renting a property and seeing how we like it and then eventually one day we'll, uh, we're thinking about relocating hopefully permanently Woo! Yeah. yeah yes I mean it's awesome it's gonna be amazing because I've always wanted to track someone I could ride with back in the <laughs> States I did some I did some like mountain bike I did well more road biking but Lena's boyfriend likes to ride And so now I get some to ride with. Be so cool. And to hang out. Yeah. You know? Have some laughs. Bring them over. Have some dinner. It'll be awesome. Yeah, we're happy. We already have friends here. We know some people. So yeah. our integration is going to be much easier. <laughs> Lena, give me a hug. Thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> Farm Life family has another repeat customer that's a full-time friend. <laughs> we'll see you later, Farmer Life family. We love you. Bye. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>